Hello, welcome to this short overview of the MK Ultra Web and Kit training. The training itself is split into four sessions. Before you receive the kit, once you receive it, then using the kit for your application, and finally, adapting the kit to your system. The first session is the MK Ultra Wideband Kit Introduction. It introduces the Ultra Wideband technology and covers how it works, and also introduces some interesting use cases. Then it goes into the Trimension line of products from NXP for IoT and Ultra Wideband applications and their architecture. Finally, the MK Ultra Wideband Kit is introduced featuring the SR150 and SR040 chips from NXP. Then in session 2 we get hands-on with the MK Ultra Wideband Kit. We first do a bring up with your smartphone to run the included distance alert and tracker use cases. Then we get hands-on setting up the toolchain and installing the required software components to develop with it. We go through the distance alert use case in more detail and do a hands-on session modifying it. We do the same with the tracker use case, covering how it works in detail, and also do a hands-on session modifying how it works to adapt it to a different scenario. We finally do a recap and cover the MK Ultra Wideband services. Moving on to the third session, it covers how to develop your solution with the MK Ultra Wideband Kit. This is way more oriented in programming and development. So, it first gives an overview of the MK Ultra Wideband SDK and then goes on to covering how to develop your own application for the SR150 and SR040. Finally, there is a wrap up of the session covering the key learnings. The final session of the training is all about integrating the MK Ultra Wideband kit to your own platform. We first show how to connect an external host for which there are a couple options. You can drive the QN1990 through the UART using the MK Ultra Wideband SDK, or you could also drive the SR150 and SR040 through SPI. Then we'll discuss the hardware architecture used and explain how to use the TLV protocol to drive the MK Ultra Wideband SDK from an external host. Finally, we'll show how to port the MK Ultra Wideband SDK to the host controller of your choice, detailing jumper configurations and pinouts so you can see how it's done to a Nordic MCU as an example. The MK Ultra Wideband Kit training concludes with the wrap-up of this session, running through all the key learnings covered in the session.